The islands to be seized are part of Micronesia, the tiny islands. Strategy for the coming conquest is explained to the men who must execute the plans. While Marines claw up the Solomon Islands in the South Pacific, while soldiers push northwestward on New Guinea in the Southwest Pacific, the carrier groups smash at enemy defenses in the Central Pacific, compelling him to split his forces, confusing him as to the main line of attack. The hour for action approaches. sailor in every part of the ship prepares for the coming attack. In the general mess, ship's cooks break out special chow they have stowed away for moments like this. Tense, long moments before battle. Japanese resistance makes an inferno of every beachhead, a hell of every shoreline. American troops are pushed to the limit of endurance, but they endure.
supply ships keep fighting ships at sea, in combat. Though hundreds of miles from Pearl Harbor, though thousands of miles from California, there is no lack of essential ammunition, food, materiel, fuel, to keep the enemy on the run, to give those in battle more than they need to fight their fight. Other carriers roam far afield to pound down such enemy bastions as truck, a formidable fleet anchorage in the Central Pacific, an island the Japanese have encrusted with armament, aircraft, pilots, and soldiers in their attempt to dominate Micronesia. Japanese hold on the Central Pacific. Twelve fast carriers, 100 planes to every ship, fighting Hellcats, dive-bombing Dauntlesses, Avengers armed with torpedoes, winged warcraft fill the sky. warnings of counterattack, and all hands know the carriers will be the major targets. Radar data is swiftly translated into symbols and precisely plotted. The meaning of plot and symbol is all too clear, all too simple. Enemy planes approaching. 